what to do with realization of emptiness, of open space, is Eros, is Tantra. It's weaving the realization of open, spacious, compassionate love into the creative cosmic ties of existence. It's holding loving transformative space for those that earnestly desire transformation. pretty obvious so there's a strong seeking impulse that comes and there's the desire to know what one is to know what reality is to know what truth is And so, we can use this analogy of an amusement park where we're in the amusement park and we're trying to find what is the source of the amusement park. And so we're looking around for the source of the amusement park everywhere, trying to find something that brings us lasting peace, happiness, well-being, joy, love. And the ironic thing, as always, is that we are literally carrying the answer as the pupil. The pupil itself is empty space. It is emptiness. It is the aperture. It is the uncreated. It is the unmanifest. It is non-being. It is non-existence. That's you. And it's looking at, perceiving, exploring, experiencing, being, existence. So right there, you transcend the duality between the two into non-dual. Where the subject-object collapses, the self-other collapses, the God-human collapses. All of those dualities collapse. And so in this analogy of the amusement park, we don't find some transcendent escape that exits us and removes us permanently from the amusement park and never go back to it. Because that's not non-dual. That's not integration. Once you realize the empty, spacious, open nature of mind, of what you truly are, you weave the realization 
back into the amusement park. You hold the loving transformative space for all of yourself in the amusement park. True Eros. True love. True openness. Just like the loving transformative space was held for you in your process, in my process. That's love. That's non-duality. That's Tantra. Emptiness equals Eros. Or zeros equals eros. So eros with a z at the beginning. Zeros equals eros. And it makes perfect sense because when we initially felt that suffering within ourselves and that seeking impulse, we oriented ourselves towards truth and towards service to others or STO rather than service to self. And so the ultimate expression of service to others at the end of the path upon realizing open space is obviously Eros. The ultimate expression of service to others is Eros. It's to be empty, love, space for earnest, transformational desire. <laughs> 